Come in. Hi, Mr. Gutierrez. Yes, Hi. hello. My name's Alicia. I'll be your nurse for today. Okay. Nice what to brings you. you in today? Uh, well, I noticed a little lump on the side of my head, mm -hmm. right here on the left side. Okay. Uh, and it's been bu uh, bugging me a little bit, and kind of growing in size a little bit. So I just wanted to get that checked out. Okay. Um, and you said it's been growing, or you feel like it's been growing for how long now? Yes, uh, I first noticed it about maybe three weeks ago. Okay. And then the first week it kind of stayed small, but then there, the second week I started feeling like a little growth. Okay. And now it just stopped growing, but it, it just feels like abnormally big, you know, for it to just be a All little. Right. Bump. Okay. Now, has it? Have you had any discharge in that area, as far as you know? No, no discharge. All right, no discharge. And uh, is there any pain? Yes, uh, uh, tenderness just, also when I touch it, but uh, I do sometimes just feel like random pains here and there come from there. Okay, random pain. Would you say it's a shooting, throbbing? Uh, kind of like a very sharp. A sharp pain. Mm -hmm. And you said this is only on occasion, not all the time. Mm -hmm. Very good, but there is tenderness when you touch it. Yes. Okay, um, well, we'll examine that in just a bit. I just want to get a little bit of history from you. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have any uh, drug allergies as far as you know? No. Okay. And are you currently on any medications? No. All right. Anything that you're taking over the counter? Mm, no. All right. Mm. Very good. Um, any supplemental herbs or anything like that that you may be taking? No. Anything mm -hmm. from a health store? Okay. Very no. good. Um, do you have any surgical history? None whatsoever. Nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Very good. Medical history? Anything chronic? Diabetes? Uh, well, as acid? far as me, no, but in my family there has been. Uh, my mom had, a, what was it, a hypertension, and okay. my dad, I think uh, breast cancer runs in the family. All right, so on your father's side there's breast cancer, but mm -hmm. not himself? No. Okay, very well. Um, now, uh, are you a smoker? No. No smoking? How about drink, even an occasional one? No. Very good. All right. Uh, what line of work are you in? Uh, I'm actually a nurse. You're yeah. a nurse. Huh? Mm -hmm. well, that's yeah, I work good. at a nursing home. Very good. All right. So, do you feel like you have a lot of stresses at work? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess the normal every day for a nurse, but not too much. Not too much. You feel you can control um, the stress that mm -hmm. you're dealt with. Okay. Very good. That's a good sign. Um, so, what I'm going to start with today is I'm going to start with examining your head okay. and your neck area. Mm -hmm. Um, just to see if I feel any other masses or swelling as I touch you I want you to tell me if you feel any tenderness or pain okay so the first thing I want to be doing today is I will be giving you a thorough examination of your head and neck but I want to concentrate right now in what you came in for today okay, okay. so uh, show me exactly where you have uh, right on this area okay very good Okay, yeah, I do see some redness, mm -hmm. um, and it's about a one centimeter in diameter of papule mm -hmm. elevated. Uh, there seems to have been some discharge because I do see some, some uh, crustacean over it. Uh -huh. um, this is definitely something that we'll have to refer back to your um, primary care doctor for okay. follow-up, okay? Because okay. that could easily be an indication of an infection. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to continue on with the rest of your head. I'm mm -hmm. checking for symmetry. Any other lumps? Mm -hmm. I'm also running my fingers through your hair to see if I get any hair follicles, nothing on my hands. That mm -hmm. means that your uh, your hair and your scalp are, are pretty healthy. I don't see any nits or any lice uh, and uh, no dryness. Okay. So everything looks good there. Next, I'm going to be examining your face mm -hmm. and I'm looking for symmetry, any special features, the condition of your skin mm -hmm. and the movement. Okay. okay. Your skin looks good. I don't see any um, acne or any scars on your face. Mm -hmm. right. um, second thing I'm going to be looking for is the movement. So can I have okay. you blink your eyes, mm -hmm. raise your eyebrows, smile for me, and show me your teeth. Very good. Um, that was symmetry in your movement, which indicates that your cranial nerve 7 is intact. Okay. All right. Uh, second thing I'll be doing here is I'm going to be palpating your um, temporal pulse. Mm -hmm. That has a rating of two, which means you've got good circulation to okay. your brain. All right. Uh, second thing I will be doing here is um, checking your temporal mandibular joint. Mm -hmm. And you let me know if you have any tenderness. I'm checking for clicks. Can you open your jaw for me, please? Very good. Close. And can you clench it? Very good. All right. That is your cranial nerve four. Mm -hmm. And 
and uh, it also is intact. All right, okay. did you feel any tenderness when I did that? No. Very good. Now what I'll be doing is checking your lymph nodes, mm -hmm. and it will be I will be palpating from your about your near ears down to your neck. Okay. If you feel any pain or tenderness, let me know. Mm -hmm. What I'll be feeling for is any swelling or masses, which may indicate possible infection or even a lymphoma. Okay. Okay. So here we go. I'm checking your preauricular, postauricular, occipital. Tonsillar, submandibular, submental. Now in your neck, I'm doing your superficial cervical, posterior cervical, and your supraclavicular. Okay, I didn't feel anything. Did you feel any pain or tenderness? No. Perfect. Okay. The next thing I will be doing is I'm going to be palpating your thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm feeling for is possible uh, unilateral enlargement or hard, hardness, uh, which may be an indicator of a thyroid goiter, mm -hmm. uh, cyst, tumor, and even possibly cancer. Okay? okay. So I'm going to be doing this from a posterior approach. I'm going to mm -hmm. come right behind you. And what I want you to do, I'm going to feel here on your neck. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for your Adam's apple. Mm -hmm. Very good. Can you swallow for me, please? All right. Right below the Adam's apple, it moves when you swallow. Mm -hmm. Right underneath that is your cricoid cartilage, and underneath that is where I will be feeling for your thyroid gland. Okay. What I'm going to ask you to do is uh, lean your head forward and turn to your left. All right. So I am going to be um, uh, aligning your thyroid over here so I can palpate it better on this opposite side here. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now turn to your right. Same thing. Okay. Very good. Did you feel any tenderness? No. Perfect. Per my assessment, the findings on my examination, uh, I concluded that my nursing diagnosis will be risk for infection related to palpable mass located on the temporal area as evidenced by purulent discharge. Okay, so we're gonna do a head and neck examination. And what I'm gonna be doing, it's just starting from the scalp uh, and moving on down to the neck. I'm gonna ask you to do some range of motion and uh, I'm just gonna be mainly inspecting to see if there's any uh, deformities, see if there's any, uh, uh, there's symmetry in your head and face and things of that nature, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna start with the hair, and what I'm gonna do is just feel the texture of the hair, uh, make sure that it's not dry, coarse, uh, uh, if I'm able to run my hair, uh, my fingers through the hair, which I am able to, so the hair is, is fine, uh, and there seems to be no breakage or anything in there. Uh, when I pull some of the hair, I don't get, and I got two hairs, which is normal, Okay. Uh, there's definitely seems to be no bulb uh, on the hair, which means there's no endocrine issues. Okay. Um, uh, it also indicates uh, that because there was not that many hair pulled out, that uh, there's good nourishment. Okay. Uh, there's no lesions or any scarrings of any of that nature on your hair, uh, nor that I'm noticing, which that's good. Uh, okay, so now we're going to move on to your face, and I'm making sure that the face is symmetrical, which it is. The skin has a nice even tone, um, and we're also going to be assessing for your cranial nerve 7. Now for this, I'm going to ask you to uh, do some movements so I can make sure that there's symmetry on both sides, uh, and make sure that there's no uh, abnormalities in, uh, neurologic-wise. Uh, so if you can smile for me and show your teeth. Okay, now you, you can raise your eyebrows. All right, and then frown. And then puff your cheeks for me. Excellent, so they puff on the same. So everything's symmetrical and that looks good, okay? okay. Next thing we're gonna check is your temporal arteries, uh, your temporal mandibular joints, mm -hmm. and your lymph nodes. So with the temporal arteries, I'm just gonna be touching the side of your head on your temporal here. 
and see if I feel uh, the pulse, which I do on both sides. That means there's proper, a proper circulation. Next thing we're gonna be checking the jaw, if you could open and close it for me. Excellent, uh, and what we're checking there is just to see if your jaw is aligned properly, if there's any misalignment, or if there's any clicking sounds in the jaw. Uh, this also gives us um, uh, an assessment towards the cranial nerve five, uh, which sure seems to have a good alignment. Um, next thing we're gonna do is check your lymph nodes. So we're gonna start with the preauricular, the postauricular, the occipital, the tonsillar, the submandibular, submental, the superficial cervical, the posterior cervical, and the supraclavicular. Excellent. So with these lymph nodes, they're usually non-palpable, and if they are palpable, uh, then uh, they, there might be some firmness to them. They could be tender, uh, they could be even pain, and this can be an indication of infection or maybe even a possible sign of lymphoma. Now, as I touched, did you feel any tenderness or, or pain? No. Excellent. So we're good there. Okay, next thing we're going to assess is your neck. Uh, and what we're gonna do here is uh, have you do some range of motions, uh, uh, movements, so we can see if there's any stiffness, uh, any pain or tenderness on your neck, mm -hmm. as this can be signs or indications of possible neck injuries, maybe even some distant generation or osteoarthritis of that sort. So I'm gonna have you move your chin towards your chest and touch your chest with your chin, excellent. Now can you turn to your right? Okay, and then to your left. Excellent. Now can you move your chin towards the sky? Excellent. Now is there any pain or tenderness? No. Excellent. You had good range of motion, so yes. that's good there. Next we'll be assessing your thyroid gland. And the thyroid gland is a small soft area that sits right below your Adam's apple, which is also known as a thyroid cartilage. Mm -hmm. So the thyroid cartilage is the little heart shield-like uh, mass that you feel right here um, especially when you swallow you'll feel that go up move up and down right below it is the cri cricoid cartilage mm -hmm. and that gives us the indication where the thyroid gland is which sits right below it so with the thyroid gland we're just gonna palpate so softly and normally it's not palpable but when it is palpable and if there's any enlargement, especially if it's unilateral on one side, mm -hmm. it could be an indication of a thyroid uh, goiter, maybe even a possible cyst. If it's a firm mass, it could be a possible indication of cancer too. But as I'm touching the thyroid gland, do you feel any pain or tenderness? No. No? Excellent. And then go ahead and swallow for me. Excellent. So that with the proper swallowing reflex, that means that the cranial nerve four is intact, which right now it is, and that's good.